hard to live with love and, and, our, and peace in our hearts, mm. and yet we still face challenges. Mm. That doesn't go away. Mm. Um, would it help us if when we face them, we were sort of neutral about them? Mm. I mean, just realizing this is what we sort of agreed to come here and do? I would say not. Hmm. <laughs> and for me, I prefer not to use the word love. And the reason I say that is this. If we were to take four people and ask each of those four people, what does love mean to you? You would get four very different answers. And so to put on humankind the task of loving everyone, you would have a multitude of responses. Hmm? You can love a hot dog. You can love your partner. You can love your children. But for each of those types of love, it is very different. And so the term that I much prefer to use is acceptance. Because in acceptance, there is no judgment. In acceptance, it is more a matter of putting yourself for just the moment in that other person's shoes mm -hmm. to experience from their perspective that which they are experiencing. It does not mean that you have to agree with it, only to experience it. So that when you accept the acts of, say, a terrorist of 9-11, you accept that this is what he was raised to do. This is what his environment created for him. It allows you to move forward in an entirely different way, not agreeing with what was done, but with greater understanding. So many of the conflicts that we are mm, faced with Start because there is no agreement, there is no understanding, there is no sense of the other perspective. There is only our own. If we can accept that we can allow another to have their own perspective, we can move forward in a positive way. Hmm? Does this make sense to you? I understand what you're saying and I still have more. It raises more questions. Mm, it always does. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Let's take war, for example. Indeed. Um, it, what you're suggesting that, I mean, there's many people on the planet that uh, would say that war is should not be happening and not a good thing, and we would like all war to stop, and then there are other people, obviously, that are still in, in war, in, in the process of a war in various places around this planet. So... That's still because they need to be? Mm. Again, we'll go back to this, this idea of acceptance. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If we can bring ourselves to acceptance, hmm? then what would be the purpose of war? War is rooted in a lack of acceptance, in standing firm in your own position, is it not? Yes. And not understanding the other position. When there is greater understanding, there is... Um, uh, greater balance. Hmm? Uh -huh. Yes? And so if you were to meet with your enemy and they were to explain their side to you and you your side to them and you could each work forward from a level of acceptance acceptance not agreement acceptance of the other individual's perspective wouldn't we have a greater opportunity to have peace and never progress to war? Hmm? So for, for those in this country mm -hmm. who are looking at war, the other side is the enemy. There is no right in their side. And yet from their perspective, there is no right in ours. Mm -hmm. hmm? And so what I ask you to do is to move around that sculpture. Hmm? If we were to... Hmm, there was a sculpture that Kathy saw many years ago hmm? in Canada, and it was made of acrylic, and it was of three individuals, two parents and a child, all looking into one another's faces. And as you moved around the sculpture, you looked through each individual's eyes, and you saw an entirely different perspective. Mm -hmm. The child looked into the parent's eyes, seeing love of the parent. The parent looked into the child's eyes, seeing the trust and the loyalty and the understanding and the love of the child. And so again, it is a matter of perspective. And when we can work from acceptance, we can reach a different perspective. Hmm? 
Would you also suggest then if we in this country just accepted that there were difficulties in other countries that our change in our perspective could end the wars? Indeed I do. Hmm? Because by acceptance, hmm? by acceptance, again, not agreement, but by acceptance of the other perspectives, mm -hmm. we can begin conversation. So do you think with our new president that mm -hmm. those kinds of conversations are going to begin? Indeed. I see a much brighter future. Hmm? Your previous mm, administration were truly merchants of fear. Hmm? They moved forward. They got their way hmm? by selling fear, by selling destruction. Hmm? Not that they were personally creating that, but that they were creating the image of it for their people. So that there was great fear in this country. And great fear brings about rash behavior, shall we say. Hmm? Mm -hmm. It allows for that fear to build into action. And those actions then build into greater fear. We are in a place now where there is a a sense of need for balance, a sense of a new beginning, hmm? a sense that while there is fear, we can work through that fear rather than letting that fear control us. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Mm. And so I'm, I'm going to just switch a little bit. So as far as the economy goes, mm. um, are we... Uh, changing our whole structure of the economy right now? Is that what's happening as to banks that are failing and people that are losing money in the stock market and all the things that are happening with the economy as it is? We have moved away from a time of community. Hmm? We have moved away from that mm, innate sense of being. Again, remember that being is a oneness. Hmm? We have moved away from oneness to more a sense of the individual ego. Mm -hmm. And with that individual ego comes greed, does it not? Seems like it has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so as we move away from that, as we grow and return to that sense of oneness, of you are the same as I, we are one, hmm? mm -hmm. and all things about us, including the lives of, of the planet. Huh? And by lives of the planet, I mean the flora and the fauna. Hmm? Mm -hmm. as well as humankind. When all of these things are looked on as one, as myself, is it not in my best interest to take care of those things? Hmm? And as such, we will build community. These things that are happening now in the economy, while they seem to be dreadful and dire, hmm? and in fact, for many, they are, they are leading to a place of community, which will be far better, which will be far greater, for mankind in which to survive. Hmm? So this is a rocky path to follow, but at the end of the path, there's a very nice place to be. Hmm? And, and I'm gonna switch you again. We have serious problems and issues in this country about our medical care. Mm -hmm. People that can't get it, people that are paying so much money for it. Is all of that going to shift around? Indeed, very much so. For again, we are returning to community. Hmm? We are returning to a more natural form of life. There will come a time, hmm? there will come a time when the technology, when the science that is so available now, but at great cost, will no longer be as available. There will be shifts and changes upon your planet that will alter that. And that is part of the reason why now we are laying the foundation for community, so that the return to that will be a smooth one. And so, um, do you have any sense of time? Like how m much time are we talking about? We are talking about a period of years. Hmm? I would say to you that already we are in this shift. Hmm? Are we not? but I think we can all feel it. Mm -hmm. And it started several years ago. Mm -hmm. I would say to you that 